Today, I'm going to decorate pillar candles. First thing I'm going to do is take an old candle and I'm cutting it up, making, taking the wax off the wick in chunks like that. Then I'm going to put it, this is a plastic beaker, and put the wax in there. And then I'm going to put this in a pan of boiling water to melt the wax. Once the wax has melted, I've poured it into a little paper cup that I can pinch on the side to make a pouring spout. And I've got here a mould of two butterflies. And very carefully, while the wax is still very hot, I'm pouring it into the mould. And using a skewer, just make sure that all the little bits have filled up. Don't worry about these bits on the side, we can just remove those as they dry. And then leave that to set up, and it's quite transparent at the moment, as you can see, but once it starts to go opaque, obviously that means the wax is drying. Okay, now when I tap it gently, it's still, it's warm, it's not unbearably hot, and I'm going to try now to ease it out of the mould, releasing it from the sides first, and flip it over. There we are. And immediately place it on the candle and press it down. It's still warm and the heat of this wax on the butterfly is going to stick it to the candle. If it breaks in half or whatever you're deciding to do breaks in half, it's not a problem. You can just push it together and you can actually use some of the melted wax on a tiny paintbrush to fix it down. Now that is still warm. That is now sticking to this candle. This is wax sticking to wax. This is set now. It's cold and it's set on there and ready for the next step. But I have poured another butterfly and this time I'm timing it to give you some idea of how long it takes for the, for the wax to set up. It does depend obviously on how deep your mold is. Some are deeper than others. So I've got on here two minutes 33 at the moment. Okay, at five and a half minutes, it came out of the mold. So that will just give you an idea of how long it takes. And I'm going to put this one on the same candle and hold it down. It's still warm, so it will still stick to the candle. So now I'm going to decorate this with some gold leaf. And the first thing we have to do is to apply some size, which will make the leaf stick. I'm actually going to use this gel medium, which is called Tacky When Dry. This works the same as gold leaf size. So I'm going to just paint it all over my wax pieces, trying to be careful and not get it on the candle itself. But as these are so thick, I am taking it over the edge. If you do get some on the candle, we can easily scrape that off afterwards, so it's not a huge problem. Okay, and then I have to leave that to dry. Now the size is dry and it is tacky, and I'm going to take some copper leaf and place it over each of these butterflies and the bee. I've got a very soft brush here, you could use a makeup brush and pounce it down. Just remove the excess carefully. Some of it will stick to the candle and to your fingers, but we can scrape that away um, if you get a lot stuck on. Okay, I'm gonna carry on filling in any bits I've missed and cleaning up the bits I don't want that have stuck to the candle and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. And here is my finished candle, all cleaned up now. Two copper butterflies and one bumblebee. And here is another one I did with gold leaf. And here's one I did, a queen bee one, with a crown and a bumblebee. I also tried it on a battery operated candle and look, it worked exactly the same. Amazing. Now my candle did have a waxy finish to the outside, but it's very exciting. So there you have it, four beautiful candles with wax embellishments.
today I'm going to take one white pillar candle and one paper napkin. The first thing we have to do is separate the layers of the napkin. We only want the top patterned layer. Most napkins have three layers, one patterned and two white. This one just happens to have one white layer underneath. So you very carefully pull them apart. I'm going to use the napkin to decorate the candle. I'm going to show you two different ways. The first one, I'm going to use a very soft artist paintbrush and some clear water. And because this napkin has quite a lot of white on it, I've decided I'm going to separate the images that I want and then I can place them where I want on the candle. So painting all around the image with the wet paintbrush, I then can very carefully separate the part of the napkin that I don't want. And doing it this way, it gives it a very, very soft feathery edge. If you cut it, you would have a very sharp edge and that would show up when you apply it to the candle. So the next thing we're going to do is to apply this flower to the candle. And to do that, I'm going to use a regular hairdryer. The first thing I'm going to do is just warm up the candle a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my little bit of paper and holding it in place, turn the hairdryer on again. Okay, that's completely stuck to the candle now. What happens is as the wax melts underneath, as you're heating it, it comes through the paper and actually leaves a waxy surface on top of the tissue. So it actually feels like a candle now. The other way you can do this is by covering the whole candle with the napkin. And to do that, you separate the layers as we did before. And then I worked out the size that I needed by laying the candle on and using the water method, made a very feathery edge there. And taking the straight edge of the napkin side and this edge here, line that up hold it in place and using the hairdryer as we did before, then you end up with this. And this is completely covered in wax now. And here are some more candles that I made. It's actually very addictive, I do warn you. And imagine how impressed your guests would be if you had a candle that matched your napkins. Pretty cool. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I have inspired you to have a go. I'm Julie McDowell. I'll see you next time.